Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have got these adorable from Creative Expressions paper cut collections, paper edgers, and they all um, feature this adorable little mouse character. I can't wait to show you what Debbie and I did with them, so come play with us. This first adorable little edger, this one's called the Celebration Mouse Edger, and it would be absolutely perfect for a belated New Year's card or celebrating any big special event. Debbie made this one, and I love how she uh, lined the back of the card with a silver linen paper and then little gold dazzle stars that appear around the little mouse. And how she did this one is she cut the front of the edger, show you this, here's the die. She cut this edger first from black cardstock, and then she cut it again from just the mouse area really so you just need to cut this area from both tan and brown oh actually this is brown suede it has a nice little texture to that so let me show you what this looks like if you were just to cut it out of a plain white card which looks equally beautiful um, it's just a very elegant look and um, how that works is and I'm going to go through all of the different ways you can cut these um, but really you just are going to be placing this along the card edge and then opening your card up and then running it through your die cut um, die cutting machine and knowing that everything to the right of the edger is going to be cut away okay so um, let me show you another example and I'm also going to show you uh, different ways to run it through the different machines so this one this one is the Harvest Mouse Edger, okay? And I'm giving you here a sneak peek on a paper pack. This one's called Blushing Blooms. Um, it's a really beautiful a blushed pink and black and white collection of papers from Hot of the Press. And it's gonna be coming out in mid-January. And also coming out in mid-January is the 12 Circles and Scallops Cutting Dies, also from Hot of the Press. So you're getting a sneak peek on this today. Um, you'll have to wait a little bit before you can order that. Um, but what I did with this particular card was um, once I die cut the image from white cardstock, then I went ahead and placed the largest circle here right over that image and cut it out and then matted it um, on this wonderful black scallop. So what if you don't have a die cutting machine that is nine has a nine inch wide platform like the Gemini? Um, what if you just have a six inch one, which is the most common, like the Big Shot, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you can still use all of these wonderful <clears throat> dies because many of them are longer, well actually all of them are longer than the six inches that is um, required that will fit through your standard six inch wide platform. Like the Gemini Mini or the Big Shot, um, it needs to be six inches wide no more than that to fit through that platform um, otherwise you're gonna have to use a larger platform like the nine inch wide Gemini well we have some ways around that so no matter what size platform you have you can use this so using this um, harvest mouse as an example this is how it looks when it first is run through a machine I ran through this this one um, through the nine inch wide platform and my card is six and a half inches long okay so this is just a little bit longer so everything is still sort of attached here so what I do to accommodate that is I just went ahead and took my little scissors and I clipped there and right here and that's just extending it so it really doesn't matter how wide your card is if you want to use a card that's longer than six and a half inches um, you can just clip off that and that's how you get that lovely edge um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and fold that on the score line and that's how that pretty card is going to look now if you don't have here we go if you don't have um, a larger platform what are you going to do there's several different things you can do on this one I'm gonna go ahead and put Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it here on this blank card. All right, then I'm going to do something a little unconventional. I'm going to take the card and I'm going to wrap it around like this, okay? So it's sandwiched in there. And then I'm going to take my machine, my well-loved machine, and I'm going to put it between the plates and I'm going to run it 
through this way, okay? As you can see, plenty of room to get through. Um, then what are you gonna do? You're gonna have all of this, when you take it out, you're gonna have this sort of indentation and impression on the what's going to be, you're gonna take that and you're gonna wrap it around. It's gonna be on the back of your card, so nobody wants that. But what you can do is just take a piece of cardstock or even just patterned paper and glue that over the inside. And so then when you clip that away, as I did before, you're going to cover off, cover up any of those indentations that you got from um, running it through the machine in a little different way. Okay, so that's one way to do that. Very easy to do. Another way is to just take a piece of cardstock, okay, place it, just a single layer of cardstock. You're gonna place it on your machine. Once again, you're going to be placing it this way, okay, because it's too wide to go this way. But you're gonna be placing it this way, sandwiching it with your plate, okay? And then when you get through, you're going to have a little guy like this, just one strip. What are you gonna do with this? All right, so I've got my blank white card. I've got some paper that I'm going to cover my card with. And then I can take my edger piece and I can glue that there. So I can still have this beautiful outline. I just need to glue it next to the fold, all right? So as you can see, a couple of different ways there um, to accommodate if you don't have, if you have the smaller slice platform. All right, so let's move on. I'm gonna show you some more card ideas. All right, so this one, this is the Garden Mouse Edger. And here is a beautiful card, if I can grab it here, that Debbie made. Uh, for this one, she used the Country Chic Paper Pack from Hot Off the Press. And she used this oval, um, sort of a deckle edge oval cutting die as the background. And then right here, she used this cutaway. Now this one is different than the other. The other cutting dies, the other five in this collection are, um, they all have a vertical edge, okay? This one has a horizontal edge. So when you're cutting this one, putting it through your machine like this, it is going to, here's a standard card. Oops, a swirl is caught. There we go. So if I was to do this from a, a regular card, this is what the takeaway is, okay? Just like that. So then what can you do with this? This is what Debbie did. She just used this piece right here, and then she ran it through the machine again and then cut out all these little flowers and embellishments, and then she just added those over the top of the original ones for some dimension, which I thought was really fun. That was a great idea. And then Debbie had this great idea too about how to um, cut it from a piece of cardstock like this, score it on either side, and then you could go like that. And it could be a cute little pop up card as well. All right, so let's take a look at another one. We have so many different designs. All right, here's one. Oh, I love this one. This is another one that Debbie did, and she combined two edgers on this one. Okay, so she used the party mouse edger which has this adorable balloon and she also used the winged mouse edger here's a mouse with adorable little wings so here's what they look like if you just cut them out individually there's that one and here's the little winged mouse so what debbie did was she just took her standard white card let me find mine here we go. And what she did was is she took each one of these and she just cut the edge off here, okay? And then she used those on her card on the inside and then she used them here on the outside. And she originally cut these out of patterned paper. This is from Dotted Duo's paper pack number two, which was from Hot Off the Press. So that's a great way to combine two different cutting dies. All right, okay, this one is called the Toadstool Mouse Edger. I love anything with a toadstool. And on this one, um, I made this one um, 
just actually with the image on there twice. And I'm gonna show you how I achieved that. Okay, so what I did was I took a piece of cardstock. This is just craft cardstock. And initially it was 12 inches long. And how wide is that? Six and a half inches wide. And what I did with this was, on one side, I went ahead and I ran this through my machine on one side like this, okay? And then I turned it over and then placed the die on the other side and ran that through my machine. Now the thing is, is when you score on each side and then you fold these in like this, one side is the nice die cut finished side, okay? The, the side that's facing up. And the other side has uh, got that sort of a more of a raw edge it would be the reverse side of the cutting die. But you do get this great reverse image, okay? Then what I did was I took and I ran it through the machine again just from some white cardstock to get the white image. And then I cut out just this adorable little toadstool because I wanted to color it using my Spectrum Noir pens. These are the Tri Blend markers. And I wanted to do some coloring, so I went ahead then and colored my toadstool using, let's see, which is, this one's coral, okay? So I did darker coral around the outside and then did some blending. And I also used the citrus green blend for my stem. And around the inside, I used the light yellow. And after I was finished coloring that, I went ahead and I just, whoops, wrong side, and I just glued that right over the first image of the tan cardstock. Then I cut out another one, turned that over, colored the reverse side of it, and glued that here. And then my mice are different colors. How do I achieve that? I just used the, this one, is the earth brown blend, and I just colored each mouse brown. It was very simple to do, and um, just added some tiny words and phrases, dazzles. This happens to be the brown dazzled from the collection, the set that you can get with five different colors in it. They're very versatile and fun to have on hand. Um, so I should show you, this is just what this particular one, the toadstool mouse edger looks like. You just cut it out of a white card. Beautiful. Well, this is a lot to see today. If you wanna see um, these cards individually, make sure you just click on the links in the gallery and it'll show you a larger photo of the card and also the supply list for each of the cards. If you're watching us on YouTube, um, you can also click on the link to Paper Wishes. It'll take you to the product page where you can see all of the, the cards. We have a great money saver on this, you guys. These are all so wonderful to have. These little mouse characters are fun and versatile to, to use throughout the year. So check out that money saver. It's on the right side of your screen. And if you're watching us on YouTube, the money saver is also in the description below. So you can check out that link. And it'll also take you to paperwishes.com where we have lots more videos and um, lots of fun products. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.